Okay guys, here we are. I had a request for a tour of my garages. So this is one of my favorite cars to cruise around in the moment, simply because I like the paint work, mixed with the green like that. It's very nice. But we've out over our poo. Let's go down and have a look. go in there because they're both full at the moment. Let's clear this. I don't know if anyone else has been getting that. If you can see up the top left of the screen there, it just said um, you cannot use, modify this vehicle because it belongs to another player. What a load of crap. I think a few other people have told me that they've been getting that as well. So let's start over this side over here, eh? Well, there's a wall there. Well, as you can see, there's the, um, what is it called again? The Western Rat Bike. Um, yeah, looks better from, say, that view. I don't know. I'll leave it like that so it's easier for you to see. Obviously, that's the Batty 801. Beautiful. What do we have here? We've got the Vertigo Classic. That's a beautiful car, by the way. Didn't want to get in the car. Oh, I guess I can start them up. That sounds good. Okay, we just heard that one, so we don't need to start that up again, but um, the Delisa, there we go. This sounds pretty good, the Chevelle Fugitive for a sedan. And everyone knows the old um, Sentinel. I'm not going to bother sound starting any of the ones that sound like crap. Right, let's go down to the next level. Probably should have started that rat bike, but it sounds like a bloody fake Harley. What have we got here? The LCC Hexa. This is the same one that the, the Lost Ride. Not a very loud bike, considering. She is nice, but right, we don't need to hear that. We've got the, um, what is it called again? Yeah, is that a Sentinel? Wait. Oh. So the other one's not a Sentinel. Whatever that was upstairs, I'm not going back to look. We've got the Weenie. The Manchev. The bloody Wayne's World car. The Baywatch car. <laughs> What's it called? The Contender. I should have already known that one. And of course, everybody knows this thing. The old Phoenix. What a beauty that one is. That paintwork, boys. What a shine. Right, let's run downstairs here. I'll try and keep this video as short as I can, guys. I mean, no one really wants to watch a bloody 10, 15 minute video about people just looking at their bikes and stuff. Uh, that'll be the Western Demon, if I'm not correct. Yep. Looks really nice with its fancy seat work. Could do a lot more to that if they gave us some more options, I reckon. The hell is that one? The Nemesis. I forgot I had this. I mustn't have had it long because I haven't put a kill base number plate on it. That would be the rough again. Yeah. Nice exhaust pipe. But the only good thing about that bike, or that, and it does nice wheelies. Now this sounds good. Everybody knows what this is. Called again, yeah, the cliffhanger. Most of the westerns do sound good. Everyone knows the Sanchez. That thing's fast as hell. This thing's fast as hell too. A nice front end view with the speedo there. I mean, maybe if you guys want, I can take a few of these out for a quick spin. Do a video about that. So that's that for garage number one. Let's go, oh, let's garage number two, but now we'll go to garage number one. See, I like doing things backwards. I am a little bit backwards sometimes, you know. No one's normal. Unless you've been released from an insane asylum. Fortunately, I have. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Story for another day, that. Alright. 
sure everyone wanted to see one of these. The vagina, I mean the Venga. That is a really, really nice car. Let's see if I can open that without getting in it. I'm not going to start any supercars because they sound like crap. Not really much to it. I hate the damn speedo in that car. You cannot see it past the steering wheel, but it handles awesomely. And probably way too overpriced. As everyone knows, my armored Karuma, kind of special armored Karuma, the cum shot Karuma. I won't talk too much about this car because I might get myself in trouble. Then we have, of course, uh, what is this one? That's the new one, the Cheetah Classic. And I made it look Italian, like Ferrari, because it looked like a damn Ferrari. And if anyone tells me it doesn't look like a damn Ferrari, I'm going to be really pissed off. And I opted for that grill. I don't know why. The others just didn't look right and sort of a bit of chrome. I don't know. Supercars have too much plastic. Now everyone knows what this is. Come on. Beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful. Sounds good too, actually. Have a listen to this. I love that paint job. I really do. It's like gold baby poo. It should have like a kind of horn. I'll start this up too because this sounds good. Everyone knows what this is. The old Duke of Death. Slide across. Fire stinger, scrap your bum. Wow, look at the armor. Freaking awesome. This sounds good too. The old voodoo. Sounds like a real old school V8, that one. It's got a really, really awesome friggin' paintwork, that too. Had to go for the chain steering wheel and the skull shifter. Naturally, skulls and everything else everywhere. Alright, next level. Get away from the car. I hate running like this. It's very weird. If you could see his arms, it'd be better. Oh, yeah. Believe it or not, there's a little secret I know about this car. Well, not just this car, about every car that I've done to this car. And I've been beating the shit out of Skylines with that. This Dominator. Oh, yeah, in case you just want to know what it is. I've had that since I stole it, I guess. I didn't buy it. But I've had it for a long time. I just put a nice white paint job on it and then changed the blue to a bit brighter blue compared to what it was when I got it off the street. I thought I'd leave that like that because, you know, kind of looks like it came from the factory it isn't um, a stock car it's very much so custom you can't exactly see the exhaust down there but yeah they're custom there's one of my babies this thing flies I've won a lot of races in this car I mean a lot of bloody races I've had that since brand spanker well not brand spanker since I first started the game because I stole this and customized it as the first car I ever owned and then I took it to Benny's and there she blows. And I'll never get rid of it. This thing here, someone told me it looked like something else. It's a fucking old Mercedes. They are the first swear word, I think, in this whole thing. Um, it flies. It's a sedan. What's it called again? The Glendale. <laughs> the Mariner's not a very good fast car. It's a good little cruise car, but sounds like a six-cylinder. Looks like a V8. This is a compact car, by the way. This thing actually flies. You can, as far as I remember, I only get this off the street. I don't think you can buy this one anymore. There's a couple that you can only get off the street. We'll get into that one, though. Okay, up the stairs. I think there's more bikes up here than anything. Oh, no. Looky, looky, looky. Now that thing actually goes really fast now. Now for those that don't know, there's a bit of a secret to this truck. If you own it in Pegasus and then you take it to your, um, fuck off, ringing my doorbell, take it to your command center, and then it now becomes a personal vehicle and you get to keep your stock version as well as this one. So just a little tip for anyone. Then we've got um, good old Tampa. I mean, that's customized to the max at the moment. Look at that rockets and all that bullshit coming out the freaking headlights that's way way overpowered this thing here looked like a honda crx sounds like one too goes like one too 
Oh, that's a blister compact, by the way. Okay, that clip ended. So it's going to be more than 10 minutes, guys, but you know, we'll get there. So, yeah, we're at the blister. Look like a CRX. We have the old My Name is Earl El Camino, which is a picador. Looks like a you, you pick up a haul. This looked like an old Chevy to me, a GMC, in maybe late 70s. Of course, we have the, I think it's probably a late 60s style kind of freaking VW band. That's pretty cool. And then the ever reliable Sand King, which if you look up on YouTube, or I can show you how to do it one day, there's a secret on how to get these um, half customized. Like a came like that, I haven't done nothing but put insurance on it. And well, that's my cars. Now remember, guys, to like, comment if you like to, share with your friends, tell your grandma, tell your dog, even though your dog can't fucking watch a video, but you know, you get the idea. And I'll see you next time.